It's us again, a woman team, Elise and Lindley. And we're excited to be back, third week in a row. We're very excited that you're with us again. Um, Elisa's going to start us off today, chatting about her intimate health for the week. Yes, so what I'm going to talk about, um, I've received a couple questions about this, and that is, do I use the Diva Cup, or do I use a different brand of cup? And I use, so this is the Diva Cup, which is a menstrual cup. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't know what a menstrual cup is, go to our website, there's a lot of information about them. Yep. So I used the Diva Cup for a while. Um, but I felt that it was a little too long for my body. So the Diva Cup compared to uh, other cups actually has a pretty long body and then a short little stubby thick stem. And I just felt that even with cutting the stem off, it just, I could feel it on my labia. And so I have actually switched to this cup, which is called the Lunette Cup, um, which has a shorter body and the stem's longer, but you can cut it. And this cup has felt a little bit more comfortable for me. Um, so that's my transition from the Deep Cup to the Lunette Cup. And if you have uh, questions about these cups, just send them our way on our Facebook page. Yeah, and we have a lot of really fun articles right now on ova.com. And it is kind of where I learned about the menstrual cup. So if you have questions, go there. Awesome. Um, my intimate health for the week, staying on the topic of menstruation, is the also oh loving menstrual cramp. Um, I am looking for ways to alleviate pain during those that time of my life. Generally, I get my cramps two to three days before I get my period, and then three days after. And let me tell you, Whoa. peeps, I have to stay home from work the first two days of my period because of heaviness and cramping. Um, so I've usually done ibuprofen and lots of really hot bubble baths. Those, that's kind of what I've yeah. done in the past. Um, so I'm always looking for new ways to help me out with cramps. And so if you guys have ways that you're dealing with them, holla at your girl. Otherwise, um, we have uh, at the end of this uh, vlog, we'll actually show you a product that we are reviewing right now. Um, but before we get there, we want to talk a little bit about menstrual cramps. and what is going on. Um, so we did some research and found out that there's a natural hormone-like substance that your cells in your uterus produce, and it's they're called pro, 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 prostaglandins. Prostaglandins. <laughs> prostaglandins. <laughs> and what they do is they basically um, make it so your uterus contracts. And if your uterus contracts um, a lot and you have a lot of that hormone, you get more intensive cramps. And one of the things that happens is it actually cuts off oxygen to your uterus, which can cause even more intensive cr cramping. Yep. Um, so that was really interesting. We also looked at what some, um, if you just have typical cramps that aren't caused by endometriosis or fibroids, these, um, you can alleviate cramps actually through exercise. Mm -hmm. So it talks about how exercise is actually good for cramps. I know that that's it's like the last thing, the I last want to do. thing you want to do. So maybe we can all just pack together and motivate each other can do that. to go on a walk or uh, do some yoga, mild jog. Yeah. Um, yeah. So before we go, we wanted to talk to you about this product we're reviewing right now. And it's called the Ziva Belt. And I am, one, very excited about this. One, because it looks awesome. And two, because it's going to help me off my cramps, I'm hoping. I'll hoping. let you guys know next week. Yeah, so we're um, testing it, but it's it's a product that's meant to relieve cramps. And how it does it, let's put it on. Okay. Um, you strap this belt to the widest part of your hips. I got wide hips. So let's start off here. Give it a little tug. Can you hold that for me, Liz? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, you tighten it. Oh, let's lower it down. All right, so, so there yeah. it's sitting right on the widest part of my hip. Then we're gonna pull it tight. And then those of you who skateboard or snowboard, snowboard. I mean, yeah, you've seen this before. And then you tighten the crap out of it until you can't anymore. And then you lay down, nice and comfortable for 15 minutes, but. What this is doing is it's basically compressing your pelvis so that it releases the tension on the ligaments that hold your uterus uh, in place. So basically your uterus is suspended 
and when it cramps, it's pulling on those ligaments, and this helps relieve some of that tension. So we're really excited to see if this works and if women really like it. Um, we have 30 ladies testing it out in the next month, so wait yeah. for a vlog on that. Yes. Um, yeah. Thanks so that's actually it. We'll let Woo. Lindley chill out with her belt uh, while we take off for the day. Have awesome. a good day, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.